Okay guys, welcome back. So still out here at Magna today, um, exploring all the things that we cannot normally do yes. uh, indoors in the studio. As much as we love it, controlled environment, being out here gives us so many more opportunities to, to test things that we think will really help you guys. So one thing we thought that really we haven't even seen, to be honest, any other people test too much of is uh, explaining the fairway bunker shot. Yeah, I think it's a, a source of fear for a lot of golfers when they get in a fairway bunker. Yeah. Um, even you see PGA Tour players, off a good lie, yes, they know what they're yeah. doing, but there's a penalty to it and there's a reason why the ball doesn't fly the same as it would off a lie like this right. in the fairway. And, and often for players, the fear comes from the unknown of what, what's about to happen. Exactly. You know, what, what are they dealing with other than just you know, a slightly more uh, tricky lie, which mm -hmm. requires more precision in the strike. But we want to obviously explain more of the implications of sure. launch and spin and ball speed. And, you know, the reality of, of the, the strike is not going to be the same. It's probably going to be slightly lower in the blade. Yep. Uh, it's going to have some implications towards tilt and gear effect and all these sorts sure. of things. So, um, Matty, why don't we start with getting you to a couple of baseline numbers mm -hmm. from the turf. Nine iron and six. Yeah. Okay, and then we can take it down to the fairway bunker, do the exact Perfect. same, and then we have something to, to yeah, work off Yeah, compare the two. Yeah. Perfect, okay. sounds good. All right. So we'll do nine first. Let's do a little nine. So for you, what's your number on nine iron? Uh, try to carry it 160. 160, yeah. Okay, so I'll get you about 160 on here. Okay, slightly thin. Probably slightly more solid. Okay. Okay, good. All right, so why don't we skip up to the six? Okay. That's hit well. Yeah, really good. Flushed it. Good. Slightly better, actually, I think. I'm watching the real ball, which is going a bit left because of the wind, but I'm yeah. assuming it wasn't that far left. No, not just uh, just a hair left of the the target line. So, um, okay, well let's let's nudge down to the bunker and, uh, and set up in there, and we'll see what's happening down okay. there. Okay, sounds good. Okay, guys, so we're back here at the bunker. Uh, we have picked out a target out there about 160. Okay. Um, yeah, you know, fairly standard fairway bunker, Matty. Nothing too crazy. Yeah. We we don't have we don't have a lip in front of us where we're trying to you know we're have to negotiate that. We can get a stock shot out there. I think we're talking about. To me, when you get in a fairway bunker that's got a high lip, yeah, you're more talking about a, a an out. escape shot. Yeah. I think today we're focusing more on standard shots. Right. You're trying to hit the green, or maybe you're laying up on a par five. Yeah. And this will help you understand how your ball flies when you when you get in the bunker. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So we'll do the nine first. Let's hit some nines first. So we saw earlier about about just under nine thousand. About nine ish. Spin. Okay. Uh, we were about seventeen ish in the launch. Okay. I'll we'll be curious to see what what happens with that. I'll try to. My tendency is to get tentative in here. Right. I'll try not to do that. I mean, there's there's probably. So what are your key thoughts here? Just just that's a good kind of uh, segue. So what what do you do to ensure solid contact in the bunker? I mean, I, nothing revolutionary. I'll put it back a, a hair in my stance, yeah. and I'll probably grip it maybe half an inch yep. low. Solid base with the feet. Get the feet into the Try bunker. To dig in. Depending on the lie, like yeah. here, to be honest with you, I feel like it might be slightly above my feet. Right. So I might not dig in quite as much. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I I don't do much else other than that. Okay. Came out nice. Came out really nice. So not much of a penalty in uh, on carry distance on that one. One five five. Okay. Um, did it? Did it have any difference in? It looked like it was spinny to it me. It spun more. Ninety five hundred. Interesting. Yeah. So um, launch angle was eighteen point seven. Which was about one more have a than before. Look here, see where you were at prior. I thought you had said seventeen five or so. So your first few launch angles were 20.5, 19.8, 17.5, oh, okay. and then 18.4. Those, so, those were, oh, okay, I got you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The biggest thing is you've spiked around 800 to 1,000. Is that right? Yeah. And that was a little bit thin too, to be honest. Okay. So 
It's looking like you get a little bit more backspin out of here. Mm -hmm. I hit it well though. Definitely to see honest, that's got some different flight to it. Am I washing you with sand? Sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so you're definitely carrying this less. Uh, 153, so it's, it's, it's robbed you of about eight, eight or nine yards okay. uh, of carry. So the ball speeds are fractionally down, spin rate's fractionally up. So all those sorts of things are, are just taking about half a club to three quarters of a club away from you. So if you're watching golf on TV, I think a lot of people see someone hit a fairway bunker shot yeah. and they spin it like crazy. Yeah. And they'll think, oh, that's cool, like a tour player spun the ball back. Mm -hmm. But they're not paying attention to what's happening when anyone hits a bunker shot. Yep. Chances are if you hit it flush, it's spinning more than a fairway shot would. Correct. It's going to come up short yep. and spin more that's than right. it normally would. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. This, this spin rate is consistently higher than, so that, than a standard shot. I would probably, depending on where the pin was, mm -hmm. might be looking at 8-iron instead. Yeah, I mean, that, that would be probably for, for me, especially on a short iron, where yeah. your tendency is going to be to spin it you know, that little bit more anyway, I would always recommend people take one club. more club. Always. How many people hit it over the back of a green anyway? On a well-struck one. On a well-struck one in yeah. general, and especially in a fairway yeah. bunker, never. No. Never. Unless you hit it really thin, no. right? Exactly. Okay. So those are pretty good. Those That's are pretty standard. Yeah. I mean, you know, ball speed dropped. Launch actually wasn't wasn't terribly different. This is quite a firm bunker. Yeah. You can kind of feel that the, the, the foundation of it is it, quite well packed. It's grainy sand as well. Yeah. So I think, you know, potentially on some softer sand, the, the spin uh, would still be high, but the launch might be a bit lower. So why would the launch come down in softer sand? Softer, softer just surface uh, area you're hitting into. So okay. think of like off of a lie board. What happens off a lie board? The ball just jumps off oh, a lie board, okay. doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So softer the, the, uh, the surface, um, it's gonna come out a little it's bit quite more. quite interesting. Yeah, yeah. I've never heard that either. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Okay. So let's hit some sixes. Let's hit then. some sixes. This is, this is what I'm interested in because, you know, 200 yards is, is, is a big six iron. I'm it's curious. a big ask, yeah. I think maybe this would be more, you've gotten yourself in a bit of trouble on a long hole. Right. Man, it's got some spin on it. You've I hit it lovely. Hit that really flush. Really good. Interesting. A ball speed drop was, was about the biggest thing. 190 really? carry. So it was about saying seven or eight yards down. Really? Uh, How 15 much? 15 launch, 5,800 spin. So um, not quite as much um, spin spike. So it's similar. About the same. About the same, but the ball speed drop was, was the biggest thing. So you're, you're not quite getting as much ball speed out of the, the bunker as you were. So as I say, that one there is one, yeah, 160.6. Interesting. Would it make sense that the longer the club gets, the less spin disparity you should see? Like you're gonna spin a pitching wedge into the bunker more than a pitching wedge into the fairway? I think the biggest thing people are gonna find is just, like you're striking these great. You've hit three really I well I never hit it this well, <laughs> like ever, ever. Um, but the biggest thing is people invite variables when they get into a bunker. Mm. They maybe hit it thin or they maybe you know, hit it slightly heavy yeah, or yeah. something like that. So I think uh, launch conditions are probably the last, you know, the guys watching will be like, I just For like sure. to get out. No, but it's true. But the last thing, I think why this is interesting even to me is the last thing you want is to hit one perfect. Yeah. Like that to me is I won't hit any bunker mm -hmm. shot better than that. Yep. It was 10 yards short in carry. Exactly. And if I took it from 200, I'd be pissed because yeah. I'd be like, oh, I hit a career shot and I'm, I'm short of the green. That's it. And, and, and we're seeing that consistent, you know, one club sort of, you know, uh, drop in, in distance. Huh. Um, so so let, I want to get one. So we... Let's, let, I want to kind of almost be a bit unfair here. Get a crappy lie, yeah. No, almost, sure. just just kind of almost get it nice and well, flat. Well, it's fair enough because how often do you come up and someone hasn't done a great job raking or something? Yeah. So something where there's a bit of sand behind, like behind the ball, right? Right. That and that one's certainly not teed up like a coconut, but it's no. But there's a bit of a rake line yeah. here, and yeah. okay, yeah, it would be enough to make you uncomfortable. Something to make you really think about it. So I'll probably try, if I saw that, I would probably try to get a bit steeper. And that's what I would see. So this is where I'm thinking we could see some launch gotcha. kind of condition change on this one. Struck that well. That was really nice, Matty. Yeah. So it wasn't a perfect lie. I would think that would, the flight looked lower to me, but it also looked like it flew shorter. 134 ball, 11 launch, 5300. Yeah, so it came out flatter. Interesting. A little flatter, a little hotter. Um, 192 carry. Carry. So yeah, we're, still, we're still getting that penalty. 
That was nice. Yeah, that was good. Really nice there. Made a good sound. <clears throat> Let's see what that one was, Matty. So 135, 13 launch, 5700. It's exactly the same. So it's just, there's there's a ball speed and launch angle sort of drop. Yeah. Both of those things. Spin actually isn't changing an awful lot when you're playing these and striking them quite well. When we put you in a bit of a, more of a difficult line, you've got to squeeze it, obviously. Yeah, then you get this way. We're getting it that, that way going a little bit. Huh. But we're not seeing, uh, we're not seeing, you know, crazy differences. Seem to be more of a spin difference with a shorter iron yep. than it is with a longer Definitely iron. more of a pickup. Yeah. 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 And I think, I mean, I think so much of it could be the way that you interpret the lie. Maybe subconsciously you get yeah. a little bit more this way. You Try lean the loft retain off the it. the angle a little bit. Because the launch and spin being down would point to mm -hmm. a little bit of this, right? Yeah. But that's good to know. Yeah. So, I mean, I think most people probably thought that there was there was a, a drop of distance and, and obviously there is. Yeah, um, It's sure. about, you know, maybe just shy of a full club. So taking a club extra. And, yeah. I mean, you struck these about as well as, yeah, as a person as will. Yeah. Um, so I think most people will see about a club of drop off, Matty. For sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you got to know that I think, and, and laying up, it can't be underrated. If you're mm -hmm. laying up out of a fairway on um, par five, yeah. and you think you need to fly at 150, you take your 150 club, yeah. you're going to drop it 10 yards short and you, do a creek you're not, or something. You are ab yeah, you're you not going to retain the same distance. No, you have to swing, I think you'd have to swing 10% harder. Yeah. And uh, to me, if anything, I think I can't swing as fast as normal because you mm. just feel like you're going to lose your footing. That's another part of it, is, is really your... the, the, the foundation that you've got is not nearly as solid. So, um, you know, your your base is, is, is going to be it's compromised. Definitely it's the first time I've... I've question wearing spikeless shoes because normally to be honest with you it doesn't bother me yeah fairway bunker is a problem mm -hmm. it really is like making a full swing i felt you probably see it in a few swings this foot was moving yeah big time. yeah yeah getting some torque it makes a big difference you gotta have Absolutely. spikes for this shot anyway interesting yeah okay cool. guys well i hope i hope that was sort of you know it rounded into something uh, that you guys you know thought it would be and, and you know for i think sure. it's, it's probably round out to the way we thought it would yeah um in terms of the 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 changes to launch conditions probably thought the spin might change a little more than it did i, I think so too yeah I, i'm not surprised that like the nine iron proportion made sense to me yeah um i'm surprised that once you get down to like a six iron it's not really much of a disparity it wasn't much of a change you just start to swing maybe a little slower yeah. get a little less ball speed and come up a bit short interesting but good to know either way Guys, all practical stuff that you can obviously take back and apply to your own game. And when you're out there, I mean, you know, especially if you've got something, a hazard or something in front of that for green sure. and you're in the fairway bunker and, you know, you kind of, you go for the, the Hollywood shot that, that ends up costing you uh, a penalty of something sure. or, you know, a green in regulation. Take take a club or, or even a club and a half extra yep. and, uh, and, and make sure you've got plenty to not have to hit it the same ball speed, same um, same launch, same spin. So yeah. I think that will really help with your course management and strategy. Yeah, it was helpful for Excellent. me. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.